Hi there, this is Gary Ryan Blair, and I've got a great message for you today, which is titled, When You Lose, Don't Lose the Lesson. See, most of us repeat history in life rather than create it. And the reason why mistakes, why failure and history repeat itself is because we paid no attention to it the first time around. When will we learn? You see, it's essential that we make new mistakes and experience new failures. And the problem in life is that we don't make nearly enough of them. There's not enough original effort. There's not enough stretching outside the comfort zone. There's certainly not enough bold, daring action in search of something better. For most of us, it's more frightening to do something new than it is to retry something that failed. We need to stop making the same old mistakes. And we need to put an end to the perpetuation of failure by repeating the same actions again and again and again. What did you expect to happen when you did the very same thing that didn't work out the last time? You see, mistakes and failure which spend much of their life in the gulag of public perception is by all means, by all measures, essential to success. Success depends on a constant stream of small and occasionally large mistakes and failures. Unfortunately, they too often get a bum rap. And to create history rather than repeat it, mistakes and failures must be viewed not only as the output of an unsuccessful activity, but also as the input for a successful one. In other words, new beginnings are often disguised as painful endings. And unless mistakes and failures are understood and respected as an integral part of success, they will remain widely perceived as unnecessary, as objectionable, as something to be avoided at all costs. And a proactive response is impossible as long as you see mistakes and failures only in negative terms. See, throughout your life, you've got to expect to get dinged here and there as you pursue your goals. But like wine that gets better with age, you get better when you fail the time or two and learn from the experience. And while there's nothing inherently sexy or enviable about failure, I promise you this. Eventually, people will find you much more attractive and interesting due to the knowledge, the wisdom, and the maturity that you gain because of it. So let me wrap this up by saying this. You learn to become strong because you've experienced weakness. You learn to become bold and courageous because you've experienced fear. You become wise because in the past you were foolish. And you become successful because of the lessons that you learn by making mistakes and experiencing failure. You see, the pain and misery of failure, a misopportunity, or simply a bonehead move on your part should be a lesson learned and never repeated. So when you lose, don't lose the lesson, as those who cannot learn from failure are condemned to repeat it. And the lessons of making mistakes and experiencing failure are a terrible thing to waste. So get out there, make some mistakes, big ones, small ones. Get out there and start creating history.